Welcome back and thank you for watching a three-part mini documentary series on one of the largest film exhibitor and distributor in the Southern Hemisphere, Stair Kineko. Please like, follow and share the video. After John Schlesinger sold his father's chain of cinemas to 20th Century Fox for $28 million, the very same 20th Century Fox would sell back everything lock, stock and barrel to the largest insurance company in South Africa called Sunlam that already owned Stair Films and Stair Theatres. 1960s was supposed to have been the year that Kineco would emerge and change the experience and landscape of film exhibitions. However, the governing laws then wouldn't permit that, so they ordered the companies Stair and Kineco to be run separately. It wasn't until 1970 that the government permitted the merging of the two companies. Sunlam then merged these two companies, Stair Brand and Kineco. To create the Kineco as many people know it today. Following that, the Kineco developed its first multiplex cinema complex in 1976. Then, in the mid 90s, the Kineco approached the landlords of Victoria and Alfred Waterfront Shopping Complex in Cape Town with plans of establishing an art cinema in the shopping complex. However, their biggest competitor, New Metro, became aware of the negotiations, and on July 30th, 1997, it addressed a letter to the landlord objecting the proposed introduction of the Stekineco Art Cinema, Cinema Nouveau. However, New Metro's actions became an obstacle that prevented the proposed introduction of Stekineco's Art Cinema. Subsequently, the parties entered into a three-way negotiation to unlock the deadlock caused by New Metro's court action. 11th of May 1998, the negotiations came to agreement that Stekineco shall not show any films identified in the industry as commercial films. Without limiting the definition of what constitutes as non-commercial film, the parties agreed that for the purpose of this agreement, the following categories of film shall be agreed not to be commercial films. Subtitled foreign language films, other than English and Afrikaans and English or Afrikaans language films scheduled for limited release on the African exhibition circuit. And just like that, Cinema Nouveau was born. Stair Kineco was and is the leading movie exhibitor and distributor in Africa, but its ownership has changed hands numerous times. September 29, 2007, the film exhibition business of Stair Kineco was sold to the first respondent, Prime Media. Prime Media is a leading South African media group with interests in, amongst other things, broadcasting, advertising, marketing and promotions. Stair Kineco was the film and digital division of Prime Media. Well, it wasn't until 2021 that Stair Kineco entered into voluntary business rescue after COVID-19 lockdowns forced it to stop operations temporarily. However, many of their customers didn't retain in numbers to watch their favorite movies at their favorite cinema after the government started lifting restrictions. Stair Kineco, which has about 65% of market share in SA, was rescued by a UK and Cape Town-based asset managers investor. The two have thrown a lifeline to South Africa's biggest cinema group by pumping in 250 million rands to help the company get out of business rescue and keep entertaining movie theater lovers for longer. Well, as of today, Stay Kineco holds the largest market share in its industry in South Africa, followed by new metro cinemas and smaller independent operators, including Cine Center, Movies Ed, and Epic Cinemas to make up the rest of the market. The company operates 43 commercial cinema complexes in South Africa, with six international sites based in Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Stair Kineco has the largest 3D footprint in Africa, featuring 124 state-of-the-art 3D screens. 3D cinema was introduced in 2008, then in 2011 Stair Kineco Mobi was introduced. In 2012 Stair Kineco launched apps and scene prestige. In more recent times, Stair Kineco sites introduced IMAX and ticket validation stations, self-service catering and ticket reservations. The award-winning SK app, which is downloadable on all smartphone operating systems, has over 1.9 million downloads. The story of and true origins of Stair Kineco is fascinating, especially if you're a film history enthusiast. Well, in my opinion, credit should also be given to one of the men responsible for the domino effect. Because if it wasn't for Isidore Schlesinger, maybe Stair Kineco wouldn't have existed. Isidore Schlesinger pioneered the mass media in this country, creating a nationwide network of cinemas and theatres. He also created the first radio broadcast organization run on commercial basis, and from this, the SABC emerged.
Thank you for watching the three-part series on one of the largest film exhibitors in the African Hemisphere, Stekineko. This is the end of the video series.